Hi, my name is Shahad, and today I'm going to explain the transformations of quadratic functions. At first, let's take a quick revision. f of x equals x to the power of 2 is the parent function of all quadratic functions. The value a can determine if the function is wide or narrow by using a vertical stretch. If the a is between 0 and 1, then the function will be wide. But if the a is greater than 1, like 2, 4, 5, 6, then the function will be narrow. Value h can determine in which direction will the function translate. If h is negative, then the function will translate to the left. If it is positive, then it will translate to the right. Note, you can find the h value from the vertex by taking the opposite sign of the equation. Value k, it will decide if the function will translate down or up. Note, vertically, up and down, y-axis, horizontally, left and right, x-axis. Example, describe the transformations of the parent function of f of x equals x to the power of 2, then graph the transformed function f of x equals half times x minus 2 to the power of 2 plus 3. At first, we need to find the vertex by taking the opposite sign of the h. Here it's negative 2, so it will be positive 2, and the k is 3, so the vertex is 2 and 3. Value of a equals half. It is between 0 and 1, so the function will be wide. The value of h equals positive 2. When it is positive, that means it will translate to the right, two steps to the right. The value of k is 3, so the function will translate three steps upwards. The graph of the function is translated two units to the right and three units up. The function would be wide. We didn't finish our question yet. We need to also graph our transformed function. The value of a was 1 over 2, or in other words, 0 0.5. It was positive, meaning that the function will open upwards. And the value of a was between 0 and 1 meaning that the function will be wider. As you can tell from the graph itself that the function became wider. Now let's jump to the value of h. h is positive 2, which means that it will make the function translate 2 units to the right. But if it was negative, it will translate 2 units to the left. k. k value was positive 3, which means that the function will translate 3 units upwards. If it was negative, that means that the function will translate 3 units downwards. Overall, the function translated 2 units to the right and 3 units upwards. And this is how we transform or graph a transformed quadratic functions. Hope it helped and thanks for watching.